Greetings to us ex-pilgrims and followers from all over the world. I'm standing in the holiest site in the Christianity, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which in our mother tongue language, we call it the Church of al qiyami which is mean the resurrection. Behind me, you can see the Edicola, which is the chapel of the sepulchre, which is, consists of two rooms. One of them is called the angel room. And over there, there's a fragment of one of the small piece of the rolling stone that used to block the entrance of the tomb. The inner one is the tomb itself, where there is a stone bench. That's the place where they laid the body of the Christ for three days. We are on the Golgotha. This is the place where Jesus was crucified. I'm standing on the place where he was nailed on the cross. Behind me, you can see the statue of the Blessed Mother and the crucifixion place. So the Church of the Holy Sepulchre was built covering two important sites, the Golgotha and the sepulchre itself. This is Adam Chapel. And behind the window, you can see part of the Golgotha bedrock. In the church tradition, Adam was buried in the foot of the Calvary. And when Jesus died on the cross, his blood touched Adam's skull and it washed Adam and the human race from the original sin. This is the anointing stone. When they brought the body of Jesus from the Golgotha, they laid the body on this stone. They anointed the body and then they wrapped the body with a linen shroud. And from here, with a small funeral procession, they took the body all the way inside the tomb. Since the past 35 years, the two six pilgrims celebrated Masses inside the church holding and offering their petitions and intentions. And we believe that those days will be back soon. And with your passion of the word and our knowledge of the land, together we will follow the footstep of Jesus until the coming of that day. We will keep you in our prayer. We will hold your petitions and intentions in the altars of the Holy Land churches. Stay safe, God bless you, and meet you in the Holy Land.